Good fish. Oh, he's kicking my ass right now. Oh my God. Oh, 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 that was a giant. Oh my God. Holy cow. That was a 20 all day, every day. Oh my God, that thing kicked my butt. Oh, that hurts. Henry Dunn here, that's D-U-N-N. It's been a while since we made a video. I'm here at a super secret location uh, in search of a 20 inch bass. What happened is I left that area there, that launch, and kayaked up here. And now I'm here, which maybe I'll show you, maybe I won't. But we're searching for a 20 inch bass on foot. I'm gonna go up to the dam and see what we can do. Stay tuned. First one out, and she is an absolute monster. Oh my gosh. All right, great first fish. Really didn't take long. Really nice fish, probably 16, 17. Might as well measure and get a weight, but this is the first fish of the trip. It might right, be pretty good. Batteries on the scale, but first fish is a beautiful 17-inch fish. Nice, nice smallmouth. Second fish on. Looks like another pig. Pig. Oh my God. Absolute monster. Get a quick measurement and let her go. I think this is gonna be number two at 17. 17 and a half, almost 18. Holy cow. It's a good fish. Actually, that fish is 18 all day. I don't know if you see, but this fish is going 18 all day. Number three, good fish. Beautiful fish. Woo! All right, we're here in the Susquehanna in late May. I've got a 3 16 ounce tube jig with uh, some kind of little green and purple tube. Got a size 3000 reel using, I think, 12 pound braid and eight pound fluoro. I just lost a monster, 20, 21 inch bass. But that's the fourth fish I've hooked, so hopefully we get another shot today. Oh man, really cool way to break my rod. I switched baits and man, I thought I had like, I don't know, the biggest friggin' smallmouth ever on this 2500 reel. Ugh, that was terrible. Terrible. 
Stop your nice stuff, buddy. Uh, okay, so this fish absolutely kicked my butt. Whoa! Oh, man. Okay, we're matching the hatch here. Not as big, but nice fish coming off the little rage tail on an Ed rig. Like I said, I lost a big Bertha here, but they're not hitting the tube right now. Okay, we picked a few fish out up by the dam. Now we're gonna move our way down. Let's see where we end up. Getting ready to explore the rest of the river. Uh, probably shouldn't put in backwards. Oh well. We'll see what happens. Let's see. There you go. This is where I should have brought it at. Maybe boat clipping. Two, three. Oh, boat flip. Should have brought a net. That's a good fish. Long fish. Skinny fish. Scrounged it. Oh my gosh. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, there, Sally. Jesse Raphael. Let's get this. Measurement on this guy. All right. This one goes 17. Nice 17. What a friggin' awesome fish. What a beauty. Oh my gosh. Nice fish. Take a measurement. 17. Another 17. Holy cow. This was an awesome three hours on the Susquehanna. Uh, just the caliber of fish was amazing. They were all between 16 and 18. No 20s, but I uh, really can't complain. The fish have been cooperating and you just, I don't know, can't beat a day like today. So if you like the video, subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you want to do. Um, make sure you come out to Susquehanna and get some. <laughs>